morning. Welcome back to my channel. So today I'm doing another crock pot meal. I love my crock pot. And it's called uh, jalapeno popper chicken. And so you're just using ingredients like when you're going to make jalapeno poppers, but it's going to be in the crock pot. So I have these uh, candied jalapenos that my son uh, Ryan and daughter-in-law Kara had got us when they went to Branson, I believe. So we're going to use these as our jalapenos. You can use fresh jalapenos. You just have to chop them up. You know, clean out the stem and everything, chop them up, and then Philadelphia cream cheese. We're also going to use uh, shredded sharp cheddar cheese, which I haven't shredded yet, and then I'm going to use some bacon. Well, this is actually hog jaw, which is just like bacon to me, and i got to fry that up because we're going to crumble that on, on the end uh, when the chicken is all done. But we're going to do this in the crock pot, so let's check out the recipe. Okay, first things first, I'm going to chop these jalapenos up because they're they're actually they're just slices. So we want to chop them up. The recipe says three to four jalapenos, depending on what you like. We're just gonna see what we get here. And these are uh, these are hot actually, so I'm just gonna I'm not wearing gloves, so I'm just gonna chop them up into bite-sized pieces because we're gonna mix them in with our cream cheese. So chop them up as much as you can. Mm, they smell really good. And I've tried these. They do have a kick to them. And there's actually seeds in here too. But it's a, a sweet, sweet kick. Which I think is going to be great on this these chicken breasts. Okay, so I'm just going to keep chopping these. And then we'll mix them in with our cream cheese. Okay, I've got all my little jalapenos chopped up. I use probably half a jar of these candy jalapenos. I'm going to say that's probably three or four jalapenos uh, chopped up. Now here's my cream cheese. And we're going to add the jalapenos. Oh my gosh, it's going to be so good. I'm just going to mix this up. And then we're going to spread this on our chicken breasts that are in the crock pot. Oh my gosh, this is going to be so good. This smells so wonderful, guys. Okay, there we go. Easy as that. Okay, let's slide our crock pot over here. The camera up a little bit. Okay, I have four pretty good sized chicken breasts um, in here. And I've trimmed every, just about all the fat, you know, skin I could get off of it. And they're skinless and boneless, obviously. And now we're going to spread this onto chicken. I think I'm going to wipe them down just a little bit with paper towels again. And that way they're not quite so wet. And we're going to cook this on low for four to six hours or until your chicken has an internal temperature of 165 degrees. We want it to be safe. Okay. I'm just going to start spooning it on here and then we'll spread it out with our spoon. And we're going to cover the entire top of the chicken. Looks like I think I just flung some. <laughs> Oh well. Okay. Now we're just going to spread it all over our chicken. This is going to be so good. Spread it out. And of course it's going to cook, cook down. And then we're going to, when this is all done, uh, we'll bring you back and we're going to do um, the cooked bacon. Because i got to cook my bacon until it's crispy. And then um, the shredded cheddar cheese on top. And then it'll be done. And I'll probably make some kind of veggie to go with it on the side. But all right, there we go. I'm going to put my lid on it. And I've got it set on low. And I will bring you back when we're ready to add the toppings and try it out. Okay, here is my jalapeno popper chicken. It's uh, just about done, so we're going to add our shredded. This is one uh, shredded cheddar cheese that I shredded myself. 
So not the kind you buy in the, just the bag, it's already shredded. I don't like that kind because it doesn't melt as well. So we're going to put this over the top. Oh, it's going to be so good. Okay, and then we're going to add some chopped up bacon. I'm just going to crumble it up on the top. Oh my goodness. This is going to be delicious. I'm going to put some more cheese over the top. So, okay. Ooh, Ed's going to love this. Okay. And now we'll add some more cheese on top of that. And we're going to put the lid back on it and let it let the cheese melt. Okay, let's put our lid back on. And we'll come back for a taste test. Mm, look at that. Doesn't it look beautiful? So yummy. So let's see if I can get some a piece of this out of here. Well, first, let's make sure. I'm pretty sure it's done. And we're going to check it. Make sure, because it has to be at least 165 degrees. And there it goes. Oh yeah, it's finished. Chicken thighs are finished. So let's get a piece of this out of here. If I can. Uh, it's so big. Let's see if I... Wow, all the toppings coming off. No. Just gonna drain some of that juice off of there. Okay. And get some of this topping. Okay, I'm gonna scoot you this way, and we're gonna do a little taste test. It's really, really hot, so I don't want to burn myself. But let's do. Oh yeah, it's finished. Oh my goodness. So there's a piece of chicken. Let's get a jalapeno. Okay, see that? Oh my lord. Y'all, this is delicious. Oh my gosh. It's spicy. But that cream cheese and the cheddar cheese and those candied jalapenos. Oh my goodness. Mmm. Oh my gosh. Ed's going to love this. I think I'm going to make some uh, broccoli or something to go with it. And then we'll have complete dinner. I hope you try this recipe. Mm -mm -mm. Beautiful. I will leave the recipe in my description box below. I hope you try it and let me know if you liked it or not. Uh, you can... Uh, you could probably do this in the oven too if you wanted to. Though on like 350. But the crock pot is so much easier. Okay, so jalapeno popper chicken. It is delicious. I cooked it for five hours on low. You probably could cook it on high for a shorter period, but you want to make sure that chicken, because these are pretty thick chicken breasts, that they're 165 degrees you know, in the center to be, you know, to be safe to eat. But this is delicious. So thanks for watching. Give it a thumbs up and a like. And I will catch you in my next video. Bye.